Hey guys, let's taxi in the hip. So the hip actually has two options for taxiing. You can taxi on the wheels, because we have them, so we can just roll along down the taxiway like a plane. Or we can do like a skid helicopter would do, and get into a ground effect hover and hover taxi, which works regardless of terrain. So whether we're at an airfield or in the middle of a literal field. So for the first one, well for both really, uh, the best thing to do is to make yourself make your life a little easier and do a hover check. So in the last video we talked about how the mast in the hip is tilted forward and to the left. So to counter that out we're going to add some aft and right cyclic. And then all we're going to do is lift off the ground about 5 meters give or take, try to get ourselves nice and stable, and then set back down and trim the position that had us nice and stable in the air. And then we can use that trimmed position to make the rest of everything in this video that much easier. So let's just add some collective here and get ourselves light on wheels. Add a little more collective, correct for movement with cyclic inputs and anti-torque inputs. Same as in the hover video. We just want to lift up. We don't really want to go anywhere at all if we can help it. We don't need to be very high, this is plenty. And when we find a spot where we're happy, we trim it, and then set back down. Take your time. It doesn't need to be perfect, but the more perfect it is, the easier your life is going to be. I always find that after I trim, it gets a little bit out of position where I wanted it. My joystick is not as precise as it once was, but we can get ourselves relatively confident here. Up there, and then set down. All right. So now the first way to hover is on wheels. So all we're gonna do for that is just add a little bit of collective to get us light on wheels. And then we're just going to apply forward cyclic to go forward, aft cyclic to slow down, or more importantly, just return the cyclic to center. And we'll steer with the anti-torque pedals. So we'll add just a little bit of collective. We'll take our brake off. Keep our nose pointed where we want using the anti-torque pedals. And then just add a little bit of forward cyclic to start rolling. doesn't take much. You don't want to be going too fast. So then we just steer with the pedals. We don't have to change our cyclic at all. Don't need any cyclic roll here. As long as you're not moving too fast and turning too sharp, that is. And we can just drive down the taxiway like a plane would. So come to a stop. We can simply recenter that cyclic, just let go of the joystick nice and slow, and we will slow down and come back to a stop. If you need to slow down a little faster, I would recommend using your brakes and letting your nose wheel absorb that impact rather than trying to do aft cyclic because you don't want to risk lifting the nose and striking the tail. We get going again, we just apply a little more forward cyclic here and away we go. Nice and easy. Now if you're not at an airfield, you're you know in the middle of a literal field or somewhere where you just can't roll on the ground, you can do what the Huey does and hover taxi. And this will work anywhere. So we're just going to come to a stop here. And for that we're going to lift up into that roughly 5 meter again ground effect hover. And then the same thing will apply. Forward and aft cyclic to control our speed anti-torque pedals to control our nose and in this case because we're off the ground we'll need to coordinate our turns just a little bit with cyclic roll in the direction of the turn. So we add a little more collective here, get ourselves up off the ground, keep the nose pointed where we want it, and because we took the time to do the hover check, we shouldn't need to do much here. It should be pretty close should be fairly stable already. All we need to do is just get up off the ground a few meters here. If 
find ourselves a stable position. And then just turn with our anti-torque pedals. And a little bit of forward cyclic, tiny, tiny amount, to dip the nose down a bit and get us moving forward. Now in this case, you're gonna to have to control your lateral drift with cyclic roll. Keep the nose pointed in the direction you want with the anti-torque pedals, but keep your left and right lateral position where you want it using cyclic roll. Now, if we're uh, sick of following this taxiway and we don't want to wait for an entrance onto the runway and we just want to turn here, we can do that. So we'll reduce our speed a little bit, bring in some left anti-torque and coordinate the turn just a little bit with some left roll. I turned the nose a bit too fast there and I was still moving too quick, but you get the idea. In a hover taxi, what's underneath you doesn't matter so much. We can taxi our way out to the runway here. Again, coordinate our turns just a little bit. And the nice thing is then once we're back over solid ground, we can easily transition back into a rolling taxi just by reducing our collective a little bit and returning to light on wheels. And there we go. Now we're back on the ground, and once again we're just controlling speed with our forward and aft cyclic. And our nose direction with the anti-torque pedals. That's all there is to taxiing in the hip. It's fairly straightforward, and I highly recommend doing that hover check before you start, because if you don't do that, I'll show you what happens here. We put our brake on, reset our trim. See our controls indicator in the top left there? The trim is back to recentered. Now, if I let go and all I do is just hold the nose forward with my anti torque pedals, the default position has me rolling forward. It's also going to have me translating a little bit to the left, and I'm going to find I have to steer right constantly to keep from moving that direction. So this isn't really good, because if I want to slow down and stop, I now have to hold an amount of aft cyclic pressure, and I have to find that amount. It's not easy to find every time. It gets a little bit fiddly, and some right roll cyclic as well. If I want to stop my movement, I have to search for this. And then I have to maintain this uh, cyclic pressure. It's much easier to find that and then trim, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I can go hands off the joystick and just push forward and aft to control my speed. And you can hold some aft cyclic to taxi backwards. Again, be very careful doing this. You do not want to apply brakes while taxiing backwards because you will strike the tail. So in that case, if you need to slow down, just return your cyclic back to center and let yourself slow down. All right, that's everything. Hopefully I haven't missed anything or gotten something wrong. If I have, please let me know below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time for takeoffs.